In section 1.1, we're going to talk about both ratios and rates. But for these first few videos, we're going to be focusing on ratios. So uh, first of all, the definition of a ratio is that it's just a comparison written as the quotient of two numbers or as the quotient of two quantities with the same units. So you're comparing two things um, when you're looking at a ratio. So um, first of all, why the distinction between numbers and quantities? Um, the only difference is that um, quantities are numbers that have units attached to them. So, um, you know, three is just a number, but if I say three inches, that's a quantity. So we can compare two numbers or two quantities that have the exact same units. So an example of this would be here, the ratio two inches to five inches. Okay, so two inches to five inches, that's a comparison of two quantities. We can either write that as the fraction two-fifths or using this notation that has a colon here, two colon five. But notice either way, the first uh, the first quantity mentioned um, when the ratio is written in words is what either goes on top of the fraction or comes first when you're using that colon notation. So when I look at this next example of uh, 8 to 28, it asks me to write it as a fraction in lowest terms. So I know that 8 needs to be on top and 28 needs to be on bottom. Okay because eight comes first when the ratio is written in words. So I'm comparing eight to 28. Um, we should remember from our knowledge of fractions that a fraction is really a way to compare um, one number to another. All right, but the other thing we do need to do here is follow the instructions of writing the fraction lowest terms. And to do that, I just simply need to divide the top and bottom by the greatest common factor and the largest thing that goes into both 8 and 28 is 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 28 divided by 4 is 7. And so that is a reduced fraction. So 8 to 28 is written as 2 sevenths when you write it as a fraction in lowest terms. The next example says write 24 to 16 as a fraction in lowest terms. Again, the first number goes on top, the second number goes on bottom. And I want to look for common factors of 24 and 16, and I can see that 8 would be the largest number that goes into both 24 and 16. So I'll go ahead and divide both top and bottom by 8. And when I divide 24 by 8, I of course get 3. When I divide 16 by 8, I of course get 2. So 3 halves is my fraction written in lowest terms.